Welcome to this episode of Open at Microsoft. We'll be talking with Thor and Yuri at Superbase. It's an open source, Postgres powered Firebase alternative, which brings together a whole host of open source projects to provide you a superb developer experience. Welcome Yuri and Thor. Tell me a bit about Superbase. Thank you so much for having us. I would love to tell you a bit more about Superbase. Superbase lets you build production-ready apps in less than a weekend. Uh, we provide vectors, we provide auth, storage, real-time, and all and amazing other features. Um, of course, all of this on top of a Postgres database. And you can think of all of the features as little Legos that mm -hmm. you can pick and choose whichever you want if you don't want the full tower, let's just say. Um, people can start contributing if they're interested in, in helping us out here on this Superbase public repo. And you can go here into issues. And if you're just starting into open source, you can go ahead and find good first issues and see which one caught your eye and help us out there. But it's basically just the easiest way to get a product ready up in like less than a weekend. So Thor is going to be able to tell you a little bit more about that and show you a demo on how you can get up and running with Superbase. Fantastic. That's a lot of stars, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. We, we pride ourselves in uh, the amount of stars and we're always collecting more. One of yes. the, I think, fastest growing um, database repositories on, on, on GitHub. Um, and the, the great side effect actually of um, Superbase being fully open source is that um, we can run the entire Superbase stack uh, locally on your machine. Uh, and so if we kind of look at my terminal here, so, you know, even if you just have NPM installed, you can say NPX Superbase. So that is our CLI. Um, and then, for example, if you want to get started, you can say uh, NPX Superbase Bootstrap. Um, and so what this actually does is, you know, we select kind of a uh, repository and it's just tapping into GitHub where we have a bunch of starter templates. So, for example, if you want to build some, you know, AI inference, uh, inference image search with, uh, you know, PG vector, that is what powers Superbase vector in Python, you can select that, um, which is pull it straight down from um, Superbase. And then here we, we, we offer a hosted product. So, you know, that's kind of how we make money. But the entire software stack, um, you can host it yourself, you can run it locally. Uh, and so, for example, I can select my organization here. Um, if I want to, you know, host it, I'm personally here in Singapore, can generate a database password. And so that would be sort of the, the fastest way to get started. Um, now, if we look at this uh, in, um, I personally like to use VS Code. I know a lot of Microsoft product drops here, um, but um, we can see kind of here our project uh, and one cool thing, basically, this is how it works um, with the Superbase CLI, is you have the entire configuration of um, the, the project within sort of this TOML file. Um, so you can see we kind of auto-generate an API on top, um, which we expose locally on your machine. We... Um, uh, you know, we have a database, which is kind of your full-fledged Postgres um, database. And so what you can do then here is you can, um, for example, say NPX uh, Superbase start. And so that will actually run the entire Superbase stack locally. Now, I already have a project um, running here, so I would have to stop that first. But um, so this is really kind of the, the cool byproduct um, of, you know, having a fully open source project. That means that every component of um, this project and even the CLI that we were using here to, um, you know, generate our project, that is open source itself. And so, yeah, if you go to github.com slash superbase, you will find kind of all of our repositories there. We work, um, you know, obviously with Postgres, but we work a, a lot with Go as well. We work a lot with Elixir, um, for example, for the real-time uh, stuff, uh, web sockets and, and such that is, um, you know, mostly in, in Elixir, uh, obviously tons of JavaScript, TypeScript. So really, you know, 
any language that you're sort of working in, uh, you can probably find um, something to to contribute to. Um, and yeah, we have, I think, on the main Superbase mono repo, so that's Superbase slash Superbase, uh, we have over a thousand contributors now um, since the project had been launched in, in 2020. And so, yeah, we, we love the community. We really love that people are embracing it and um, contributing. So thanks for that. Fantastic. Yeah, and I love it's built on Postgres. Everybody's open source person's favorite database and all the communities I work with and Go and Python and Cloud Native and others. Um, in terms of the hosting side of things, I assume I can I can take Superbase. I've got a great local developer experience driven by the CLI. Can I, I can run that on a VM. I can run it, I assume, inside of Kubernetes. What are the sort of hosting options you've got there in terms of cloud and platform agnostic? Yeah, so we provide um, official kind of Dockerized images. So that would be sort of your your easiest way to get up and running with the self-hosting. Um, there are some community projects uh, for Kubernetes. Um, so they are currently not officially uh, supported, but mm -hmm. um, we've heard from, from users that they've uh, used that successfully as well. So yes, as it stands today, uh, Docker is kind of the official supported version that you can take um, and, you know, spin up on your preferred kind of infra um, or, yeah, the, the, the currently community uh, maintained Kubernetes Helm charts. Yeah. It's great to have that parity between the local developer experience and then what you're running in the cloud or even on your on-premises infrastructure. It's uh, fantastic. Yeah, I think that that is like the, the biggest... Um, benefit here as well is like you know sometimes you're just on the plane and you want to keep working on your project yeah so currently you can't run actually maybe you can't no so you can run multiple projects at the same time but you will need to assign uh, a project name to it um which i haven't done you know i'm old school um but so now that i've stopped this project i can start it up here um locally um, and so this is actually spinning up the entire uh, stack. So you can see we have like a, a, a storage Docker container here. So that's our file storage. We have GoTrue, which is the uh, authentication server. We have Postgres. So Postgres is mm -hmm. actually a fantastic open source project that auto generates um, APIs on top of your Postgres database. And then obviously we have um, Postgres here as well. Now. I seem to maybe have some some issues here. That is always the demo effect, I guess. Um, but and when I'm working with Superbase, am I using client libraries across all the different languages? And it's is it, what is the protocol that we're speaking to Superbase? Yeah. So. Um, it depends. So you can you have a fully fledged uh, Postgres database, so you can. Um, you know, just directly connect to the database if you want. So mm -hmm. we give you the full um, the full connection string. Uh, but then also, since we have kind of this Postgres um, project here, we auto generate the the APIs on top of it. So that means uh, you can basically connect to your database from any environment that speaks um, HTTPS. Uh, and so. Um, yeah, we have client libraries for um, TypeScript, for uh, yeah JavaScript, uh, TypeScript, for Python. Um, Dart has been so Flutter, kind of the community has been uh, pretty popular as well. And then uh, so these are kind of the uh, officially Swift uh, as well. Recently now mm -hmm. for for the mobile folks. Uh, and then there's a ton of like uh, community contributed libraries um, also. So yeah, what you can see here now is the hosted uh, platform. Now, um, you can run this locally as well. So actually, when you start up um, Superbase locally, you will get a local Superbase dashboard as well. Um, but so here we um, created this project. So this is the hosted project now. But you can see like in the project settings. Um, so if you go kind of to the database settings, you can see you have kind of full access to um, the database. So there's the credentials here. Um, we even spin up a connection pooler on top of that um, where you have different kind of transaction modes. Again, this is a, an open source project. Um, it's uh, called Supervisor, uh, written in Elixir. So um, it's kind of a, a drop-in replacement for um, um, PG pooler. No, that's not what it's called. Uh, I forgot the name, but so kind of the connection pooler um, that you would use with Postgres. 
PG and Bouncer. Here, oh, yeah. yes, PG Bouncer. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, kind of an Elixir uh, version of PG, PG Bouncer. Um, and, yeah, you have the, the API uh, access credentials. So you can see kind of, you know, this is your sort of base URL for the API. And then you have kind of the REST APIs. You even ha get like a, a GraphQL API. So, like, if you look at this here, there's like GraphQL um uh, built into the dashboard as well. So um, that's another fantastic open source project called um, PG GraphQL. Um, and so, yeah, really everything kind of within the Superbase ecosystem is um, open source. And, you know, we really we, we really pride ourselves on that. And, and so the way we, you know, hope to make money is by providing the best uh, you know, hosted experience, but you always have that peace of mind that if you want to, you can just dump it all out and like host it yourself. But ideally, we provide such a good experience that you don't have to. Fantastic. So you have we brought together all of these open source projects. The Superbase itself is Apache licensed. You've got full control. You can drop down to Postgres if you want to, but then also work it up with it at this much higher level of abstraction with all of this sort of friendly developer experience. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. This is Wonderful. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Also, uh, uh, a point that I would like to bring up is that a lot of people feel insecure about their SQL or SQL, whichever, there are mixed feelings about how you say that, uh, experience. So we also offer an AI SQL editor that takes the natural language and outputs the SQL that you need. So don't let that be like a setback and feel free to try us out and we promise you're going to have a good experience. And if I want to download Superbase right now, I can just go to superbase.com or github slash superbase. That's it. github.com slash superbase. It's everything there. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.